today we are going to continue with dimensioning and at this point we're going to actually get into AutoCAD and learn how to use the AutoCAD dimensioning tools. If you have not watched the video on the 57 golden rules of dimensioning, you need to do that prior to watching this video. It goes over the rules of dimensioning and you need to have a good understanding of the rules of dimensioning before we start in AutoCAD. For today, if we go to the home page and we scroll down, you will see where we had the 57 golden rules of dimensioning. Today we're going to be in this tab called AutoCAD dimensioning. So if we click on that it's going to take us into our page and again you have some reading that has to do with the AutoCAD that's in your book. We will have the lecture here that you're going to be watching today and then over here you had some dimensioning review questions that were assigned with the 57 golden rules. This page will give you a synopsis of what we're going to talk about today. And also down here will be your dimensioning assignment and some dimensioning review questions. We will talk about the quiz here in a minute and go over the date for that. So now we are ready to open our AutoCAD. Again, I will continue to be walking you through the steps on how to get into AutoCAD and get started. So again, we're gonna go down to the Windows icon and we are going to go to AutoCAD 2020 and you're going to select that. Once you are in AutoCAD, we are going to go to the big red A or the application menu and we are going to go to new. Again, we are going to pick a template file that's already in here, the acad.dwt. Template files end in .dwt, AutoCAD files end in .dwg. Our template currently does not house anything in it. Templates typically have things such as textiles, layers, blocks, other items that are preset that make it a lot easier when we start a new drawing. But we haven't really learned how to set up our template yet as we're still just learning AutoCAD. So we will continue to do this process until the day we are ready to actually set up our template. So we're gonna say open. First thing I want to do is close my grid. The second thing that I want to do is I want to type in Dyne Mode. And I want to make sure that my value is at zero. Some of you, I believe, have encountered not turning off your Dyne Mode and how it can cause you some headaches. So again, I highly suggest at this point that you turn it off and once you become a much better user of AutoCAD, then you are welcome to use Dyne Mode. To save yourself some headaches, I would make sure that that is off and then just hit Enter. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and save my drawing. So again, I will tell you where to save your drawings, what to name your drawings, and you should do that. So I'm just going to place mine in here and replace one of my previous drawings. The next thing I need to do is I need to set up my units. So I'm going to go to drawing utilities and I'm going to pick units or I can type in units, doesn't matter. I will typically tell you the units to set and I will tell you the precision that you need to set your drawings to. So if I tell you 0, .00 then you would select this one you need to set your precision according to the assignment. The other thing I like to do under the A is I like to go to my options. And the first thing I want to do is make sure that my auto save is on. And it is, and it's set for the five minutes that I had set it for originally. The other thing is I like to check my crosshair and I like to have that at 100. The next thing we need to do is set up our layers. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna create a couple of layers. I'm going to create one called my object layer and I'm going to make it green and I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to just create another layer called hatch and make it cyan. And they're both going to be continuous line type. And again, I would come over here in my description and fill in that information and the same for my hatch. I would fill in hatch and fill patterns. You will need to create the remainder of the layers per the assignment directions. And I'm going to make my object layer the current layer for right now and I'm going to close my layer dialog box. So I am now ready to start drawing. 
The last thing that we actually learned prior to starting to talk about dimensioning was text. Again, for text, we go under the annotate tab. We talked about this area right here, how we set all of that up. So the first thing I want to do, because I want all of my dimensioning text and my leaders, etc., just all be tied into that. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my multi-line text to annotative. Again, I explained last time about annotative. This has to do with how we print our drawings and to get all of our text, whether it is uh, text notes or whether it's dimensions, to all come out at the correct height. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and I'm going to edit that. And again, I've got my annotative and I want to set my paper text height to 0.125. And I'm going to set that for current and say yes. And I'm going to leave the text style and all the remainder of that as long as I have annotative here and I have my text height set. You'll notice it just did 0.13. That's because of the precision that I have set in my drawing. So I'm going to go back to my drawing utilities and to my units and you'll see I just have the two. So if I change this to the three and I say okay and then I go back to my text. Now you will see it will say 0 0.125. 0 0.13, 0 0.125, it's fairly close so it really doesn't matter. What's going to matter is the precision that I set my drawing to. In the next video we are going to learn how to set our dimension styles.